Jeff, can you hear us? Yes. All right, let's call this to order. It's uh, 7 13 p.m. on Wednesday, September 14. We're going to start off with a roll call. Uh, let's start with the uh, individual not present. If you want to state your name and say you're here. Yeah. Jeff? Uh, Jeff Hartwell here. Okay. Allison Bryan here. John McMahon here. Julie Collins here. Tim Bernica here. Jeff Lorenzo here. Katie Campbell here. All right, excellent. We're all here. This is, this is a momentous occasion. There's seven. We haven't had seven commissioners in the room. <laughs> wow. Or on the same call at any time. This is great. Hey, Jeff, you can hear us okay, right? I can, yeah, thank you. The first thing I want to do just says, you know, sadly we lost Holly Diamond this morning. Oh. Um, Holly was, you know, Jackie Bright, she was our one of our top women runners over the years. One, I think won four women's championships, two she lost by seconds. And matter of fact, the girls that beat her realized her name was on the plaque and they felt bad that they beat her. Like one was by three seconds, the other one by seven seconds. So Holly, I think, was also yeah, the track coach yeah, at the high school, but she and she ran last year. She didn't look good, you know. I think, but I just got word this morning, well, this afternoon, that she passed away this morning. So, so we are. Oh, so one of the things we want to do is, inside our Thanksgiving Day race, give out a scholarship in her name. We just got to figure out the wording, with, um, you know, there'll probably be a June, like a high school scholarship tonight, you know, grad, uh, class night. But we also have to. I don't know whole, the whole thing about um, eligibility, like, you know, students, because we used to try to give what, awards to kids that won the road race, but they couldn't accept them because they were athletes. Mm. Um, so I got to work with Ron Ford um, and just sort of, so you know, that, so find a way. For minutes. Who's Holly Madden? How is she? So she Can was one of our longtime regular runners for the uh, Thanksgiving Day road race. Okay. I got um, an answer for you. Go through the chatter. Yep. We were saying even even on our website when people register for the race, maybe I'm going to reach out to our website and say, "Can we add a little column if you want to make a donation?" Would you like to, yeah, add yeah. something for yeah. Yeah. and then we'll promote it. Um, I'll, once the, the arrangements get settled, I talked to Ron Ford about the write up. You know, I know she was track track and cross country. She was helping out with the coach for a while. So, so I just was so sad day today when we found that out. So she was she was awesome. So, and like I said, she ran last year, but you know. It was, a, it was the last run, and I talked to Ron that day. I said, okay, well, next, if something happens, we'll, we got to do something for ourselves. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. No, no, no meeting minutes. Sorry. Minutes. Yeah, yeah, I got I got to work on those. It got a little crazy today. Today was National Honor Society Day to get all the forms in by tomorrow. So I had a little run on kids that last minute asking for all the paperwork to be filled out. So oh, um, they're all due by tomorrow. So they're I don't run on those, so um, I just gotta find Julie's notes from last one. Type them all up. Um, for months ago, for sure. <laughs> I, I know that's, that's been crazy. <laughs> I guess you had a busy summer. Yeah, you had a busy, yeah, you had a busy summer. I, I mean, type those up, Ted. Okay? Yeah, I'll work. I'm yeah. Sorry, we'll I figure that out. Yeah, um, you don't have to take them and type them up. <laughs> so I try to save. You know, with this packet here, I try to I try to save paper. Um, so everything's double sided here. So I'll go go through it here. Um, <laughs> The first thing is the reorganization you guys did back in June. Uh, so that's that's in here. You take more than one. No, no, I took a big I'm assuming all the, all the roles are still in place. If you guys don't mind, I think John, you're still in open space, right? Yeah. Um, I've decided I'm too tired. So. <laughs> Jeff, you're, you're still doing Har Har Harbor, right? 15 minutes. We're lucky. Okay. Me. <laughs> you, still, you, got, you got Harbor still? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Um, so the next schedule is just, and Jeff, I'll save you a copy of these and get, get to you somehow in the packet. But uh, so the next, you know, I, try, I started writing out the minute all our meetings for the second Wednesday every month so we could talk about it. But then I realized it was easier to take the school calendar and highlight in yellow all the second Wednesdays for the whole year. Um, so if you guys just don't know, you know, you know it's coming. Um, I put it, I highlighted a couple of things. Um, I'm actually on vacation October 12th, but I don't mind calling in. Um, I highlighted Thanksgiving and yellow and pink um, for our race. And then in January, we have our meeting at 11. The only reason I highlighted the 12th is that's extreme registration for those who need it. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I also highlighted in pink the Health and Rec Fair, which hopefully we get we do it next year. Uh, so this is all the meetings for the year. So take a look at your calendars. Let me know if there's any conflicts or anything you don't you know what we, what we have to do. So will it always be 7 p.m. and be here? Well, hopefully it'll be next door. Once it all depends on this thing. Okay. What's next it. door in this building here? But next door? Is that what you mean? In our office. Oh, next door yeah, in the office. Yeah. You mean when you say next door, you mean across the street? Yeah, across the street. Okay. This is quieter than. I'm trying to get into the window here. <laughs> I guess see what kind of dance they have on Wednesday nights upstairs. I could, I, you might want to be here instead if there's if there's tap dancing upstairs. Yeah, I like um, it here. Um, so the first thing is the summer program review, and I figure it was apropos to start with the mental health report from our mental health professional. So, um, so you, so I put the mental health report from our mental health professional as the the front and center because after this summer. It's the best way to describe the summer. So um, it was, you know, from a parent perspective, I think from a kid perspective, everything was great. We've had positive feedback uh, from everybody. I think, you know, you guys took part. Um, we had no, I mean, we had two broken arms, but the parents were great about it. Um, the staff, we had no issues with the staff at all, which is for 124 staff members. That's pretty, you know, it's pretty impressive. Um, so this is Linda Nathan is our mental health professional. And uh, so she always, I think I had a last year's packet. I asked her for a little report on her observations. Um, as Allison will mention, I mean, this is the best money we spent. Uh, you know, she's getting to the point now where staff members are talking to her directly and nobody, you know, it used to be that they wouldn't want to talk to her, someone like that because they would, they, they would just assume there's something wrong with them. But she's such a great personality that it just, you know, staff are talking to her and other staff are just, it's okay. Um, and maybe they're talking about child, or, you know, helping with their child. But, um, you know, as Allison back, you know, this is something I think we should continue uh, for years to come. And I had a South Shore meeting last, last week and actually other departments are looking into it. And I'm going to have Linda come to one of my meetings and no one's going to, a bit of so it's good. Um, so it's just say as long as we make it a priority, then there we don't lose her. Why yeah. don't we just keep it forever? Yeah, and that's what that's our goal. And I'll have her in the budget you know, as long as you got you guys are you know have your blessing. I'm gonna up do a budget with her right now again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. for December that you guys are approved. But like I said, it, it's the best money we spend. Um, and you know, our new nurse that we hope to keep, Kristen Neeson, um, have, has a, has a connection with her and. She's, I know she's looking for a job. We're just hoping you know, she finds something that she can work the summer for because the two of them together were, were incredible. Um, just two positive, you know. I mean, you can just, you know her pretty well. So I don't know if you want to chime in. So. I feel like you probably have said it all, but um, she really makes herself part of the keynote. So she just is another member. So very easily accessible. She really, she knows her stuff. It's a great way about it. So I think it's great to get them in the budget. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, and then, of course, I just had to throw, I saw this thank you action in the file on the desk. So I thought that was pretty cool that uh, came from the mother and child that was all that great. But, you know, it was, it's hard to describe the summer. I mean, everything that, everything that could go wrong went wrong, but we, we, we dealt with it. Um, you know, so that's pretty cool. We, you know, story street being dug out, the heat. The water band, uh, two broken arms. Um, you know the, the the pool being closed most you know most of July. Uh, Deer Hill cafeteria being dug up, you know without any water notice. Water break outside of Sawyer. Yeah, outside <laughs> of I mean there's so many. You know the our volunteer that I got hit riding to work, riding to work one day. I'm ready to work. Yeah. Still showed up. Like Still showed up. Rode his bike up to the hill, and you know that was the worst phone call ever. Hearing one of our volunteers get by a car, but. He was up there with his dad, just real little you know, damage to the bike, but he, he wanted to come to work and stayed all day. Um, and then one of our extreme coordinators actually got hit on the way to work the first day, fractured back on, a, you know, so she was out the entire summer. So that was day one. Oh, so, no. so Kristen, one of our, she worked for us last year for extreme. She was a professional at Deer Hill oh. and she was great. And, and she where was, was she hit? Here she's coming, no, she's coming from, I feel where she lived. She went to the North Shore this last school year, mm -hmm. but she wanted to return. I think her family's from Marshfield. Oh, 
I'll say she might be coming out, but she got hit so hard that I think she was in traction for most of July and slashed her back. So that was day one. So that might have been a moment uh, of things to come, but we, we made it through. Um, staff was great. And I think every parents, responsible parents, I didn't hear anything negative. Um, the police were on us the first day about traffic. But we made it, we went out back to Ethan Circus again, um, and that worked out well. Uh, not, not too many animals, thank God. We didn't have any. Yep, we got lucky. We got lucky with that. Uh, so, the Gaga pit that was installed by Eagle Scout, we wore it to the bone within three weeks, and kids kept on playing in it, even though it was solid rock. Even you know, but we we filled it before school started. Uh, but, but I did recommend that they they got to do something different. Like there's a hose right there; they could hose it out every day, and that's going to you know be a big role. But we would have to do that in the future. You know, just hose down that stone dust because. It just, you can see it while they're playing. There's just a big dust pile and mm. kids would just walk and you can see the dust coming them off and, you know, hours later. But we <laughs> use it for six hours every day. Really we, all, we actually got, uh, the board approved a purchase of one like five, six years ago, but the company went under. You couldn't find one, right? Yeah, and so and with COVID, it just it got worse. But uh, Elwell was a girl, first Eagle Scout, first girl Eagle Scout in town. So we're, we were very happy with that project. And, I, I didn't, I, we called her them when we needed a driveway for Kate to kind of go and I didn't realize it was them at, the, at Pleasant Street. So Kate could drive, she couldn't drive down the hill to us back and forth, so she parked in their driveway. So I made that awkward phone call saying, yeah, thanks for the guy, can we also use your driveway? Yeah, can't use your driveway. <laughs> but you know, they, they loved it. I mean, it worked out well, so. Um, but I mean, we got three parents here. Any, you guys, any feedback or? <laughs> I've heard just really, really great things. Yeah. People who, you know, older kids who just had started either this year or yeah. last year, you know, how great it was, how well organized it was, how well trained the staff was. Yeah. Was anything? A lot of new, a lot of new kids. A lot of new kids. A lot of new kids. In the younger programs or yeah, all across. You know, just was a. My granddaughter thought everything was very organized, yeah. and well done, and enjoyed herself. Like I said, 124 for staff members, so it was the most ever. So, yeah, big group. Yeah. I had a question about music circus plays. Remember years ago, those used to go on. Why did those stop? I know COVID maybe played a part. Yeah, Kaleidoscope Theater can we was. get that back? Well, it's a music circus thing. Oh. Um, if you ask any of the staff members off the record, they. They would say no. They, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Shima, yeah, they didn't like being in there. It was hot. It was hot. I mean, it was miserable. It's there was no water, no food, no outside stuff allowed in. Yeah. So you couldn't bring water, you need to buy water from them. Oh. Um, you know, because there's nothing else. No. But they're, you know, they're one of our major contributors, so we like to support them. But yeah. Um, yeah, you know, Snow White, you know, it was the same Snow White that when I was a camper here. Oh she's, I think she's aged out. A lot of it's a nice place. It's a nice place. I heard from a few parents that they missed that and that they said that return. Um, that's the only feedback. There's one show at a late uh, that Lisa Pratt was running through. It wasn't through her downtown program but it was oh. or somebody else. Oh. And they said it was only a it was not even it was only a quarter fill, not even a quarter fill. Oh I didn't and, even know that. And one of our mothers said you should call right now get a deal. And I called us four dollars a kid. Oh my gosh, no thanks. Okay. I, I thought it'd be nice to pay for the high fives to go down there. I was like I was thinking 10 bucks. And right, said, yeah. Hey, just for well, no, that's okay. So, um, okay. You know what? I'm just wondering. And something did come back to me in a conversation that I had with somebody who had been new to town. And I know we save a certain number of spots or do we not for people who move we, to town? We filled the day. I mean, we didn't have that big of a wait list, yeah. but we did fill on Sunday, March 26th. Um, so, yeah, it's tough because we do, I mean, we, we have to make a decision. You stop and then have 20, 30 people on a wait list. And then if people knew to come to town after that, um, what do we think about that too a little bit? Because like if you were, if you didn't, we stopped at a that certain number. Um, I think it was 325. We stopped at 300. There'd be 25 people on the wait list and more. 
what do you do about people that move in town May, April, May, and June? Do you? It's something to think about. I mean, you should definitely. Yeah. I guess I just always think that it's such a great opportunity agree, yeah. for yeah. people who are new to town mm -hmm. to be meeting some of their classmates yeah. before they get to school. I think we got most. I think we got most of those too, though. We got most a lot of them because the other ones that we write, even the ones on the wait list, because we did have. I mean, we always lose about a few, you know, two or three percent just because yeah. of change of plans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we didn't have a very large wait list, and people that were moving to town were on that wait list that they did jump in. So. Um, so yeah. kind of a moot point this year, though, because of staffing. Oh yeah, yeah, we were yeah we were petrified like, there for a while. That was the problem. Yeah. Is, is like up until like, until the week thing. before, you didn't know if you were going to have enough for the right. people that signed up. Never mind the wait list. Yeah. So it's it's like one of those things where it's it all it sounds great in, in theory. It's like when the in practical terms, like what happens when like this this year the kids were all like. Ah, oh, got a way better gig over the way. See, yeah, yeah. And they just yeah. went. They watched like the week right. before, and, like they signed up, said, "Yep, I'm in," and then watched. And you're like, "What do you do now?" You know, like I can barely take care of these kids. Yeah. And it just comes safety issue at that point. Yeah, yeah. No, and I know that it was certainly an issue this year, and I know that last year we had to adjust things. And just you know, hopefully next summer everything will be even more you know back to normal. But even yeah, if we say as, as a goal, it's not going to turn anybody away. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. But if we tried to, if we needed to, if we were, if we had a certain number of spots that would go to somebody who was new to town, who like really kind of you know, like yeah. needs that, yeah. that's an opportunity to meet some people before they walk into the school. Mm -hmm. I think one of the biggest issues is, you know, thinking worst case scenario, you know, as a teacher having all 325 kids indoors for six straight hours, especially with COVID still going up. I and mean, we had it, mm -hmm. three counselors drop, you know, two or three counselors drop and we kids wearing masks. It, at it um so i mean that's hopefully next year that'll clear up a little more but it's always thinking worst case of all 325 kids in that day which is amazing for six three guys because uh, they don't give us we have the cafeteria which we lost the cafeteria this summer so that was a three week you know losing that was tough and we can't um, use the osgood right we share it with summer school and mr dykes mm. so i mean that's something you know it's a different subject about maybe switching some programs around a little bit but yeah. um just in the early stages of that. Um, I think I'll do the, I'll have the budget ready. I'm still waiting for a few people to send me a bill. So then finally it's a bill for the, the budget. I, you know, I did include this, you know, only because this yellow sheet here, we discussed at a meeting back early in the winter, early spring, I got checked about what to do with the 4th of July holiday. Um, you know, this year the board voted to just skip the um, 4th on a Monday. But then we got these other ones coming up soon, um, including next 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 year. Whereas on the on a, a Tuesday, do we just and no one complained about the day off? Um, you know, I thought we get some calls saying we're missing one day. Can you where's the credit? Why are we paying the same price as third second session? Uh, one of the goals was to try to maybe do the form day back, but that was thrown away when <laughs> the water beer kicked in. Um, so it's just a matter of what do we want to do with. Like next next year, do we go to camp for a day and come back? Um, okay, I'm okay. okay with that. Tomorrow. I mean, because we have a cook up with family, see you on Wednesday. Yeah. So I mean, the, the, one of the reasons too we have to do that is we do have to watch that final day. Uh, they don't want us in that late, um, especially if they ever start going back to school before Labor Day. So that's why that I, when I put that 18 and 17 in orange, it means I think the school might. Say we want you out before then, um, for the tenth or you know, do the Do they decide before Labor Day or? I think I forget how they left it. Like, yeah, we'll just wait and see. Uh, scary. You know, something about yeah. if there's a Labor Day falls or on, on, on or on. after a certain date. Then yeah. Not. Then just that year though, right? They'll go exactly. before yeah. the change. But then September one. And September one's a big thing, right? I think if it was because they can't go back before yeah. September first. Like with students, so I think if it's so late and they can get in September on September one, a few days that is that part of it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Ted, what does Wednesday, it, Thursday, what does it mean? One. That's when like they're at the school is it's strange. Yeah. That's when the school's happening. That's session one. So yellow, the first. Oh, I. See. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. The whole page is yellow, so I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, yeah, so what's on? Why? I'm like, why is the green being differentiated? Yeah, I'm sorry. The green, the, the, the second green is when I look at more blue. Oh, is second session. session, second session. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, thank yeah. you. 
And is the question, do we hold camp on the fourth? The, the ones in red, depending on what. No, it's just is. a point of what the fourth is. Yeah. And we, are we, we all know. deciding that we'll definitely take yeah. the day off? Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We we, don't did we just decide that? No, or we all. The fourth already is started. always off. Okay. Um, it's just a matter of do we go we the third, started. like next year? Um, oh. Yeah. Got it. Right. Taking the two weeks off. Yeah. Got it. So are we going to make that decision every year, each year, or are we just saying right now? I think you guys just did. We'll go the third. I mean, we might start. Well, we didn't vote on it. So, I mean, do you think we need to vote? We, we, well, I just vote on it now. I know you, you voted on that this this, this year. We, we voted on 2022. We did do that. Yep. And we did that in, in May before the before it started. Yep. Oh, okay. Or, I'm sorry, in March before, before we took, yeah. before we took the... Because um, it does help me. It helps me with the budget, too, so I can... With the budget for next year. So it does... Mm -hmm. One reason why I was through this out tonight, just to... Reconfirm what we want to do like next year. Uh, I think though, from what you said, you didn't get any pushback no. from just having one day. No. And I think the more days you take, maybe leading yeah, up to, you're change. gonna increase the chance. Not for me, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I'm happy that you've done what you've done for um, the kids, but I think that because there are families that will say, even if it's five dollars, whatever it yeah. is, like mm -hmm. why are we paying and, you know this yeah. much? Because we've had now two days we've missed, mm -hmm. like three to but and more backs up. I agree. I mean, I wouldn't be one of those parents to say that, but it does make sense. Right. We shouldn't be charging them because their kids aren't there. Because every year it's going to be, you know, more days and mm -hmm. yeah. Back when it was a seven week program, we there was never the fourth was considered the parents paying for staff training. So there's always mm -hmm. staff training. That was built in, and that was part of that seven weeks. So it was always a day missing, unless it fell on a different day. Um, so why did we stop that? We put it to two, three to get more kids in. To get more kids in. Yeah. Okay. Seven weeks keeps it to just three hundred twenty-five. We had five hundred different kids this year. Could we do a two-week session, two-week session, three-week session? Okay. <laughs> no, it is. I'm just asking a question. Oh, no. This is my first okay. time okay. here. The, the answer is we too could much do, money. We, we could do that. Yeah. Uh, we will let we will let you do planning and logistics. <laughs> well, that <laughs> requires, but see that requires the seven week program start. That means we start the last week of June. Oh. We don't go further until August because they right. want they want to sell. Yeah. So they, oh, because but, the schools need to. But then they're not closed. Right. Oh, last week of June they're not closed. Then they're open. Oh my God! Yeah, thirtieth. We were in school for thirtieth. Right. Yeah. So I mean, okay. this this would actually for next year if we went the third, you know, went the third. You might have some staff upset that they can't go to the vineyard, you know, for the Fourth of July weekend because they have to work on Monday. Um, but this would be actually the school went to the 30th, there'd be no time off. We right. have the first and second, yeah. And we try to have to move into the school and go That'd start on the, on the third. Okay. But then we have the day off to try to reorganize for the rest of the week. So, okay. um, now I get what, it. so do you typically start the same date? The goal is always to try after, after the fifth, after the fourth, but we can't do that because the, they want us out, especially if we ever run into a situation where we're starting for Labor Day, we need three weeks to get ready. So, they usually work around us and kick us out of school one quarter at a time, and we're down to nothing the last three mm. or four days. Mm. <laughs> but the new, good news is Jerry Hill has a floor now that they don't have to uh, varnish like they used to, and they used to leave us one little tile to get all the way from the cafeteria to, to the gym. Oh my God. So you could only have one row going because it couldn't get, you couldn't step it's on like an obstacle course. One, to one, get little, one little square, you know, going all the way down the hall. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long haul. Oh my God. Um, Floors so, lava, they love that. They yeah, love yeah. it. The floors lava, they love that kind of thing. Yeah. So, I mean, if everyone wants to make, make a motion, I mean, to start in the third or. I'll make a motion. Okay. What's your motion? We need a second. Start on the third. All right. Uh, second. The yeah. uh, summer, uh, summer playground camp will begin on August, or some playground will begin on July 3rd, 2023. Correct. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Jeff, well, you're great. We're ahead of the game. This should have been just good enough. Yeah, now, yeah, we're, now? Very, very we're very much ahead. So we, um, I mean, <laughs> we did decide last year that if you saw the rate, we should if, just be celebrating the, the rates on the side there. We did decide last year to um, do the rate based on next. The next, there's one more pay hike on uh, January one to fifteen dollars minimum wage. So we did. You guys did vote last last year to go. Make this year's rate the same for next year. I mean, if you see another minimum wage hike, we'll obviously have to go again and do something else. But so this year we made a little bit more money. 
So and, and next year that has been budgeted for next year. So we have to do it, you know, keep the price the same. So which I think is good if we're missing a day on the first session, keep it the same. So uh, and that rate it doesn't show on your piece of paper, but this year's rate was actually 450 for the older kids all day and 390 for the little guys for the uh, 60 hours a week. So it's five, we broke the five dollar mark for all day, which is still pretty reasonable compared to other towns. Uh, and the little guys are a little more expensive because the ratios are lower uh, for for council. So how much were the little ones again? Uh, the high fives. High nine, fives. Nine fifteen one fifteen the five girls. Okay. So their ratio is like six to one compared to the ten to twelve on the uh, older kids. Okay, it was four fifty for the older kids, and how much for the little ones? Three ninety. Three ninety per session. Yeah. So. Hey, before you talk about facilities, needing more facilities for inside when you have to go, do you think, like our church, we have a big downstairs, you could easily use our church. How about other places? After one day, you might not want to say that again. <laughs> no. Well, it may be logistics and getting kids <laughs> there. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I mean, a lot depends on building construction or if ever. I think we're good now. Um, okay. I think I talked about with some of you guys about maybe making one change for. Oscar and high fives, flipping them um, to sort of alleviate some of the traffic because that's always going to be concerned. These are all over us again this year. And, um, the new circus helps, but that nine o'clock and three o'clock out there is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so we ever did flip Oscar and high five, it might alleviate that craziness up there. But I, I, I'll get some like, you know, fast together and discuss with some of you guys first. And, so, um, so other than that, I mean, there any, I mean other than, you know, we did some sports camps, uh, the concerts. Actually, we got lucky with the con we only had a plus one one concert. So we got all our concerts in the summer. Uh, well, actually, I, I, there was one, the band from Connecticut, Southern Voice, who I've been trying to get for, I, we booked him back in 2018. She got sick. Um, she's, I call her Adele. She's got that Adele voice. <laughs> the day that she was supposed to come was, heat index was already at 102 before mm. noon. And, we decided to put, we just couldn't find a date. And I just, I want her to have the crowd. I mean, she deserves. Um, so we already have her booked for next, next August. Okay, so, so we just, she was the only one who did yeah, that place. Uh, it, it was a heat issue. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a rain issue. We didn't have, as, as you know, we didn't have much rain. So uh, some of the bands played in some serious heat, but they, we had a good crowd and a lot of them. So we should even the hot ones. Um, While you're on concerts, I was asked to bring this up by Mike Hubley. I think Mike talked to you already. He would like to see us move them over to the other side where we have the tables and chairs and work something out with the town people like the pizza place would have pizza available um try to get more people involved in that so instead of having what we have now go over to a section that where we have our tables and chairs and things like that and then talk to the businesses there mm -hmm. they would like to get involved on, on those nights and it's something to look at yeah i mean okay, there's yeah. more there's more trees there it's more shade it actually helped the band set up because right now we're, when the band shows up, they're fighting for parking, traffic, and also fighting with a guy who's performing for the farmer's market. Right. But they can't, they have to unplug him to do a test sound Ooh. test. Um, the only thing that concerned me, but then people do set up the chairs, like to listen to him and then stay there. Uh, I understand, concert. I understand. Um, I mean, it, it is no easy. I mean, I, they, uh, we used to always be on the flag side. And I love this actually light poles that we could always re revisit, but, um, they wanted us on that side next to, you know, so they, but all the, the farmer's market people break down right in the middle of the show and they're not very quiet. Well, we that's what he also little, talked about a little moving sad, to the other side, but he wants to get more of the town and maybe even on little Thursday little nights, the stores would open. Yeah, yeah. Thursday night opening. Uh, you know, like that that, you come around with the red. Yeah, where the tables and chairs are in that, that section, nothing. then right around the corner of stores, and maybe on Thursday nights from such and such a time, the stores are open. Mm. Uh, they can have stuff outside on the sidewalks, and, yeah. you know, make it. Okay. Make it we we okay. have to shut the road down, which I don't know if they let us. We well, have to have to definitely that close. But um, if, there, if we get all the businesses involved, they'll shut it. And then the other issue too is it just other than it's not green grass. This is not. It's not green grass and there's so many trees there it's just pretty much dirt sure. so it's not the best place to set um and sometimes the trees bring out more bugs that would be my own concern but um uh, we're going to bring the bells and the concert that would help too 
Sometimes I like yeah. cranking those dogs going. Uh, but no, we look into it. Yeah. yeah, the other thing you do is walk off the street and everybody is sit in their chairs yeah. in the street. So. But I like the idea that he like, thought about businesses. Hey, would you guys like to those nights get involved in doing something? Mm -hmm. Open from you know seven to nine or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I gave you the I the, the school asked me for a budget from last year, how we did with rise. So that's what you see on the next page. Um, the margins there, we still need to put an agreement in writing with them about the right now they get all the money and we don't see the back end yet come back. So we do need to talk about that. So but it actually, you know, the schools you're starting great. We're getting over 12 kids in the morning and close to 20 in the afternoon, which Thank God, because last year it was six and twelve, so we're coming back up with the rise program. I mean, the parking, the train parking lot's not full yet, but still, a lot more parents working. Thank God, and uh, dropping the kids off. So we're ahead of the game already for this year. Um, and then, the, as Tim mentioned, we got an email from Chris last night about the field project. Do you want to? Mentioned. So, yeah, we got an email last night asking us to postpone our review and vote on the field project, uh, the field project study. Um, they, that what they were asking of us, and, and what the select um, men, the select board asked of us was that we come up with uh, a, a kind of a three step deal where we would say something when we discuss it, we'll come up with what our absolute, you know, no, money is no object wish list would be, and then what a, you know, a um, sober and reasoned plan A would be and what a plan B would be. Um, and, and just they because I think what they're trying to do is to try to figure out, well, you know, okay, these guys have, uh, have agreed that this may, this particular thing makes sense. So let's figure out a way to pay for this particular thing. And, get mm -hmm. it done. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's what they're looking for from us. Um, however, uh, they want to come and make a presentation to us and um, they're asking if they can come uh, pick a date next week. Um, in person or in Yeah, I uh, Okay. Um, let's see here. So when um, you say that they're going to do a presentation, do you mean the that consultant group that talked uh, about no, the last time? No, I think it's the town manager. No, so it's Michelle Leary. Chris Senior yeah. and Michelle Leary, who is the director of procurement and the assistant town manager now. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, uh, what uh, Chris requested was if the commission was able to set aside time next week at the same time, it was seven o'clock. He's saying oh, it could it be Wednesday at seven o'clock. Oh. That's what he's asking. Um, would that work or some other time or some other time slot um, where um, Michelle would do a more in depth presentation to uh, generate more specific next steps versus, um, you know, just us saying, like, well, uh, we, we looked at the plans and we don't agree with this, and we looked at plans and think that's great. So I think that's what they're requesting. So that's why we're going to kind of table this agenda. Right. Mm -hmm. Can I, so, are they going? Are, do I understand correctly that they're going to present to us what they think we should that we should all do? No, or I think it's more. Yeah, Michelle is going to um, summarize uh, what the activity task people had to say back um, when they made their what was that May. Maybe yeah. twenty something. Mm -hmm. They made a presentation, you know, public uh, presentation. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, so it's going to be a summary of that. Yeah, it'll be essentially a summary okay. of that. Um, mm -hmm. There have been some changes since that May twenty fifth. There's oh. been a couple of, um, it's a couple of areas that may have been designated for one thing prior have been kind of like a little bit um, changed up a little bit. Okay. Where it might not necessarily be what they had originally suggested for a particular spot. Mm -hmm. It might be something else. Mm -hmm. um, and that, but but again, it. it and it is actually there's a there's a new uh, uh, there's new space across the street from the uh, Deer Hill um, current Deer Hill field that they're gonna they propose to push oh. back to the uh, property lines on Sawyer Street and open up another oh wow field here. oh yeah. cool which I don't think is in the original no no I don't remember that I have a question on a whole discussion because the one thing they did say that they agreed to that they would move forward on. Was the shed? And where are we? You're gonna need to ask Michelle next week. Yeah. So that so the shed okay. Everything? Well, just to, just so um so Jack and I as as chair and vice chair we were in a meeting with um, uh, Gene Dippold and Chris Senior 
um, it, it, having this discussion. Mm -hmm. And I was asked my opinion, and I said my opinion is, I would like to finish the projects that we already have in, in play and have been funded, that, that you know, the town has given us money to go and, and finish. Yes. And so I said, I would prefer to finish those plans first. However, the board hasn't voted on this. We, we meet again in September. And so we meet again in September. They've asked us to push it out. Oh, they've it's, asked us now to push it out. Well, that's, that's what this yeah. is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they did come back at the end and say we're because, in favor of the shed. Yeah. Let's move forward. Right. Because so, when I when I say right. the project haven't taken any steps. Correct. So, so I think seven that, years I've been dealing with as part of oh, our no. discussion, as part of our discussion next week, and, and I'll, I'll be happy to reiterate my position. No one else has to speak or agree with me, but I'll I'll just say, um, you know, thank you for the presentation. I, I hear where you're coming from. However, I don't think my position's changed. And I think you know, we have two projects, Millican Field and Beachwood Basketball Court that We've presented to the town, we've presented to capital, we've presented to CPC, we've received money for, and in the case of Milliken, we've been through multiple iterations. Um, when, and in the case of Beachwood, really no iterations because we haven't really received any, there's been no outgoing RFPs, there's been outgoing uh, requests for bids to any vendors to, to do the work. So we're kind of just like, you know, sitting here. You know, why are we taking on more things to think about? Before we finish up, that's that's, that's how I feel. Years. And that you know, if we had had this, well, that session, seems like common sense. Yeah. Shit, doesn't it? Six years. Common sense. We're talking about the shit. Right? Six years. Two thousand fourteen. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Why is that done? Me. Yeah. Things move at a snail's pace. So so, anyways, that that's so that's why that's why we're going to um, uh, kind of table this whole field front review. We're not going to review anything, even though there are some. Allison's got some plans over there to grab it there. Oh, yeah, I gave Allison nice. plans before the oh, meeting was canceled. So very good. So we can hold on to that. So I guess I guess um, I will take people's temperature now. Does next Wednesday night at seven o'clock work for everybody? Can it be Zoom? It could be a Hesby Zoom. Oh, it so, has to be Zoom. Well, yeah. So Michelle and Chris are probably hosted here because I might not be here myself. Yeah. Um, I would have them, but they actually might do it from our office. Yeah, it probably would be if it's going to be that way. It's probably going to be all you guys separately. Yeah. Don't write it down yet, though. Hey, hey, Ted. Uh, yeah, hey, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm around next Wednesday. Can, can I ask a quick question? Has anyone been involved since we had that kind of second public forum? We weren't invited to the first. We got invited to the second. They said we will be happy to include your. You know, okay. committee and the ongoing discussions have. Has anybody been part of those discussions between the, May and now? The extent of that was the meeting that I'm talking about that Jack and I went to, or the or the Zoom that Jack and I went to with Jean Dipple because uh, she was um, kind of like a she's a subsection of the select board that was going to take on the field project as her own as one of her her assignments, and so okay. she was leading it, and so it was a it was a Zoom. I want to say we were in. The summer, the yeah, summer, July. sort of like middle of July, and then and then you know, so the request was, hey, could you get the, the uh, full board to meet on it? And I said, well, you know, we don't meet again until early September. And at that point, we I don't think we had said it. No, maybe we had set a date. I, I don't remember if we'd set a date, but I said we're not going to meet till early September. And they said, okay, great. If you could if you could discuss it at your first meeting, and that was the extent of our involvement. Okay, all right. That that's the thing that doesn't sit right with me, right? Like they're we're, we're going to be presented this plan and. Oh, yes, we'd love your feedback on it. Um, when in May, what we had was a commitment to participate along with Michelle and the consultant to, you know, do additional work on this thing and be an active participant in it. And instead, this feels a little bit like, hey, we put this plan together. We'd love to be able to say the recreation committee, you know, reviewed it. So, um, and I'll, I'm happy to make that statement next week as well, but um, that's, well, that's the way the, I kind of feel about this thing. The one thing, and, and Ted had to remind me of this because I didn't remember ever participating in anything. And it, Ted reminded me that what happened is at the end of January, I asked Michelle, hey, before Activitas finishes, can we, um, can we get some time with them? Can, you know, can we sit with them and tell them what we, um, what we think is important and see how that gets incorporated into the plan. Um, the, re the response was, yes, please invite them to your next meeting. I did. Uh, they couldn't make it because of prior engagement, but we were given at four o'clock in the afternoon, the next day we could meet with them. 
that was what was that was what we were presented with. So that was. Well, we did. Of, we did. You guys, meet. Yeah, no, you guys yeah, did. Couple I did not. Right. And, and yeah. that's, that's yeah. why I had no. I had no recollection. I'm just like, what do you mean we met? I never met. And we tried to meet, but you wouldn't meet with us. And then it didn't yeah. matter. No, we had the four o'clock on a Thursday meeting. And Ted, I you know how hard I had to. Um, I, I I made, you know, Michelle say it out loud, right? Like we uh, will have a recreation commission person who's going to participate in the ongoing activities of this committee, and it's it just didn't seem to happen. So, well, and and I don't think you know surprise, they, surprise. They may they may try. You know, it, it's possible. And I don't I don't want to speculate, but they, they may they may say like you know this is what we think. We, we're really urging you to think hard about this, and we we're an independent board and can decide what we want to do. And if we decide we want to do none of it, then that's great. If we decide we want to do one thing on there, that's totally you know that's within our purview to to make recommendations to the select board about recreation and open in open space you know, recreational spaces in yep. the in the town so the question is do you guys want to do a hybrid should i tell michelle to book this from you I, guys want to is, some of you want to do face to face with them so you know you could do obviously zoom because they have to it's up to you tim what do you think I, Honestly, I, I think more things get done face to face. Well, you have another to. zone. Because yeah. in that zone, we listen to a lot. So, Tim, you, you got a meeting, right? Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I, I mean, I'm not supposed to be here, but I'll just I'll try to move this. This is. I mean, um, we can. I mean, it's cert, so it's like a it's a cert thing, and, and it's like we planned it out. Well, you know. well the question I think Allison, you weren't you you say you weren't available or. Um. I think I could be available, but what if we pushed it out two weeks so they right, yeah. can be here? I was just thinking the same thing. Is this time seven sensitive? Years. Right. Uh, and, is well, this the, time sensitive? The, dra the drawback to that is the uh, open house in high school. I so have open house Saturday. Oh, in high school. At my school. Let's, uh, why don't oh, is it? Day? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, your next meeting is October 12th. I mean, it's up to you on that. I mean, yeah, if we meet before October 12th, I think that's probably the idea because that's our next meeting is October. We could have them come to that meeting. I won't be here, but you want to do it. Or October 5th, whatever you guys want to do. What is it? Jeff, how are your Wednesdays looking? Wednesdays are not good. My Wednesdays, like this one, are spent at a hockey rink, so I can be a, as good a participant as I am right now. So I could do a Zoom thing. Yeah, a quiet one right now. Very quiet there. Yeah. Uh, what do you? I mean, Chairman call. What what Wednesday is good for you? I, none. <laughs> Literally, but not go, fourteen, not twenty-one, not twenty-eight, not five, uh, twelve. But I'm here. So what? I mean, <laughs> you can't just, say do it uh, during our meeting. I can do nineteen. <laughs> so why don't we say twelve? Yeah. yeah what about when we actually meet? Yeah. Okay. Come to meeting at twelve. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Better, more efficient use of our time. Right. Well, and, and one of the requests, and, and so I think I think the reason why is he had said in the email that where the, the sole topic of the meeting would be the fields study. So oh. rather, I think what he was driving at was rather than hijack a scheduled rec committee meeting, you know, commission meeting, it would be a special meeting about the field projects. Mm. So I, well, I won't be here, so it can't can be a special meeting. Yeah. I mean, I won't have an agenda. I mean, the agenda would just be this. Well, yeah, we, we have a lot of deals here. We still have to talk about it. We got things for giving. We got to get that. Um, I, I get that sort of in the, in the right. works here. Okay. So. All right. And I, I can zoom in from California. So, okay. So. Yeah, with the, but uh, the, main object, the main objective would be the field. Yeah. Sure. Are, um, are we allowed to have, I know mean, this may not be popular, but are we allowed to have a longer meeting than an hour and 15 minutes? Like, can we just have a two hour meeting and put everything in? Okay. Let's do not that that's, yeah, we can yeah. make as long as we want. Okay. <laughs> we'll just need snacks, right? Yeah. Like if you could bring snacks <laughs> to Jackson. Can you guys can you guys make it at 6 30? On uh, October 12th. On the 12th. We'll start a little bit early. Yeah, I think I so. I don't have you guys. I mean, I won't be here, so it's not here. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you've got a pool watching you guys, but um at 6 30. Are those the two main like sort of recommendations on the table? Those things that we're looking at. Yeah. Unless there's something changing, I mean, those are the latest proposals were tennis courts. So it's really adding Dale. pickleball courts and some synthetic turf. No, no turf. Okay. Oh, dear hell, yeah. I, so oh, you're so off, no. off, off the record. Oh, that came off. You got rid of that. Oh no, no, it's still there. But oh. 
I'm just saying. For, I'm our, not, summer, for our summer program? Yeah. We don't want sure. No, so the only one they said the only meeting we had this project was the shed. We'll do it. Yeah, that's the only one they said. <laughs> No shed. No. They're, they're, they 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 uh, find utility in this plan. Said, they they find the utility plan. in this. No. In, uh, the select board. Okay. They find utility in some, but not necessarily all of this plan. Okay. Because my initial gut was, okay, if we're talking about uh, this will wind up being for just the courts. If we're talking about two point eight for just the courts, and then you're talking about also turfing, turfing expanding turfing like my thing was where is this like 17 million dollars going to come from how is this right. going to work right and so it's like yeah oh, it's not the case you know those prices um you know these these prices are, are yeah they're, they're overly inflated and it doesn't have to be all of this it doesn't have to be right it doesn't have to be lighting if you don't think the lighting's going to work so right. it's the whole thing is in flux and it's in they i i think what they're trying to do is to pin us down and say like all right, we're on. You said that we could do this, right. and therefore we have to. You have to help us go up to two point nine million dollars. No, that's what I'm afraid of is, is how it's going to yeah, happen. They, well, what if we think that there are other projects that are more worthy of this money, like putting oh, in better sidewalks so people can walk and recreate? You know, like sidewalks. Then you wind up with like the, 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 what you're going to hear is well, then then you, you have a, a mission creep, and that's not part of this mission. This mission is a study mm -hmm. paid money to have. Consultants come in and look at our field usage and what, how we could increase field usage with what we have, or adding to that, and that's this is what the outcome of that is. Mm. There were no other locations in town. There were two other. There were two. Ones. There were two other locations in town. Minuscule, like one, one actually quite sizable, but next to impossible to pull off. It's uh, there's a property on Main Street that actually sits uh, the the, the Majority of property sits contiguous to the uh, still to the uh, uh, Toll Brothers. I don't know what you want to call. We used to call it Sea Mirror. I don't know what they call that area now. Uh, what do they call the area up by the, the top of the hill? What's it called? The, the development up there. Um, um, uh, Toll Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toll Brothers. Things. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, this property on Main Street, the, the majority of the property kind of backs up to that property, so it's, it's pretty large. Uh, but it's a private home. It is inaccessible. It's across like the train tracks to get to, um, and it's it's just fine. It's got it, it's the reason why they they viewed it is they I think they probably did a search of like you know one acre plus properties at the time, and that's one. And so there's no indication that anybody's it's for sale. There's no indication that we could buy it. There's no indication they they did like a rough markup on what it would take to do uh, to put a few fields in parking and whatnot. It didn't include it didn't include anything. It didn't include anything at all, including you know, a, an estimate of site prep without knowing if there's ledge or anything. Uh, it, we didn't include uh, access, acquiring the property for, from the owners. So it's like, we could have my house too, but it's, it's not for sale. I could put a little pickleball court right there, knock my house down. Oh my God. It's right across from the <laughs> ball game. We can put a little nice house on our home set. Right yeah. guys want it. It'd be perfect. You can pull right in, play some pickleball, and we're great. Awesome. Anyways, so. So most of the plan is on the website, so I can see actually that that piece. So procurement page on the request website. Yeah, so go have some master or go there yeah. under the procurement uh, department tab. Scroll down, you'll see these plans. Um, and last question. Sorry if I'm behind, but like, is this in response to we think if we we based on the surveys we think we need? I'm making it up. Another. 2,520 hours of field time. Correct. And if we do get, and this is how we're going to go find 2,500. This is, this is one way to get there. So Activitas did, they had a So this question. is to meet needs. This yeah. is to, to meet the needs of, is it just youth or is it youth and adult youth? Well, sorry, they used it, the, the criteria, criteria, criteria they used was field usage. So, like for example, Beachwood Ball Field does get some adult use. Not a lot, but some. Uh, uh, the courts over here get some adult use, some, but not a lot. Same thing with Beachwood, some, but not, again, no, nobody's saying to turf over the courts or anything like that. It's just they did a, a look at what, every, what all the use was for all of their various fields mm -hmm. in, in fall, winter, spring. Uh, yeah. Whatever. So it wasn't just like this is how we can build more stuff. It's like this is this is what you need, right. and this is because they had so so as consultants and having you know done this all over the place, it, the way it was presented was they give you 
and it, it's all in this this um, PDF. If you go to the, yeah. to the website, you'll find all this in there. And there's a couple of tables that takes a while to get through, but if you take your time, you can actually see what they're saying. Is they they tell you how much usage like um, they have a like a multiplier that they use because if there are metal cleats, there's a certain multiplier. If there are mm. you know uh, you know whatever, it's a multiplier. So like they know like lacrosse gets this amount of beating. Baseball gets this amount of beating. Soccer, this so one. they give it a multiplier, and then what they do is they come up with some number, and that number tells you like what um, what you, what the usage is, and then their like industry standard says the usage should be this. Mm -hmm. And so they came up with the idea that you know our fields are overused, and because they're overused, it'd be great if we can develop other ways to make them be underused. And it's it comes down to things like turf versus grass. Grass gets beat up, grass gets wet, grass gets burned out. None of that happens with turf. Therefore, they try to figure out how many cancellations there are at Milton Field. Well, let's talk about turf. Yeah, though. I, Two yeah. years ago, they were going to replace the turf at the high school. Exactly. Two years ago. Exactly. Guaranteed this summer was going to get done. Yeah. It still isn't done. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying it's going to be done Thanksgiving, which makes a lot of sense. For since, since they don't want yeah, well, yeah. it. Yeah, it's good news because they play football, what? <laughs> March to, to May, right? Yeah. So so um, I wasn't involved earlier with this. Did they, the activists, ever look at um, just not playing all of the sports all of the time and cutting back on usage? No, because, because no, because the input they got from the from the uh, from the uh, youth groups yeah. was that their all their rosters are exploding. Um, okay. it, there's you know they can, they cannot keep up. They, right now they can't keep up with what they have, and okay. as it increases, as the the numbers of of players increase, mm -hmm. it's only going to get worse. Mm -hmm. So that was the that was kind of the crux of it. Was mm -hmm. well, the crux of it was let's get a comprehensive plan for the town so we don't have like CYBSA going. Oh, by the way, we're, we bought some land over there and we're going to put a new baseball field, mm -hmm. like going off like the reservation. Right. So right, yeah. it was the idea that like let's corral this and have the town and the whole you know we'll, we'll be the the you know the gatekeepers of all this stuff and we'll start by bringing the this um, uh, something in. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what our needs are. So what I mean is like sports being played in the wrong season. So like soccer, did they ever consider well, maybe we shouldn't be playing soccer on Millican and wearing down that field in the springtime when soccer is not a spring sport? Like, did anyone talk about that? So just keeping cross when it's supposed to be and well, soccer when the, it's supposed to the be. The problem here though is um, the youth groups. So like Cohasset youth soccer is massive. In the fall and spring, they have two well, seasons. Well, not in spring. So I've been involved for years too, right? And we're I'm out now. I'm out because the problem is they're playing in the spring and it's competing with baseball, baseball and lacrosse, and the kids are overwhelmed. And they don't give people the opportunity to choose one or the other, which I think they should. Right. I, or maybe just have a fall program for soccer and make it as big as you want to make it. Make it over two days, whatever you want to do. I just don't know if soccer should be happening on those fields in the spring. And that's so, it should be lacrosse. I'm totally and then there's like, plenty of room for lacrosse. They I always will have the room they need if they're not competing with soccer. I'm and totally I'm just wondering if anyone has ever talked about that with the youth groups. Spring is usually the travel season for soccer. That's well, all fall is in town, spring is travel. Well, I'm talking about like the little kids who are tearing up the field all day from eight until five. Yeah. They're the ones digging up the field and doing the wear and tear on the fields. I'm there. I'm actually there coaching. So I know. Yeah, you, I know. Do, you know. Well, that's so the conversation. That's, that's, that, and that's, I think that's yeah. the conversation happening. Yeah. You know, like, that's great that your numbers are exploding, except that you have, you, you take our money and nobody shows up. So, and no one showed up from, from our team. Yeah. Yes. So, in the spring, the teams don't have enough players. So, the kids don't have fun. We have to join teams together. It's ridiculous. Right. right? Yes. And, and I talked to Diane about it. I talked to Suffer about it. And she was like, it's just too much work to do a fall and a spring. And my next thing just, is, just do a fall. Yeah, just, <laughs> just do a fall. Yeah. The kids have plenty of other activities to choose from. I just think it would reduce wear and tear on the fields. That's one of the problems. And it would make a lot of parents a lot happier because I've heard so much feedback from other parents whose kids are burning out I trying to do bring anything. It, bring it to them. Bring it to the class of your son. Yeah. yeah, I did unofficially at the pool. I did bring it to Diane, but so, I can bring it officially to them. I just want to make sure it's <laughs> okay. Right. So far, you suggested oh three sessions at camp. <laughs> Diane, we need an hour and a half meetings. I'm just asking. And, yeah, <laughs> I just want to make sure all of this is like, <laughs> and no after, like a separate. Less recreation.
<laughs> I'm just asking questions. She said something about how I'm, I want to go rogue. Isn't that an answer? No, no, no. I said they're going rogue. They're going rogue. Uh, we don't want them around. Did Diane take your head and start flushing it? No, no. no she just I said it's too much work to run. Line of fire going up the hill for soccer indoors. I right. thought about all that going on. Oh, yeah, indoor soccer and indoor lacrosse we have going on. I love that we have all these opportunities. I just we think need to put a light maybe there. we look at what we're offering before we spend $20 million on making changes when maybe we just are more smart about our offerings, about the time that we're offering. Asking about that, I'm not suggesting, I'm just wondering well, what he's talking so about. So to answer, whoa, 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 to to answer your question, question. Oh, I, I don't make okay. Thank you. In, I didn't know, that's what I'm wondering. Is it a good suggestion? Nowhere, <laughs> uh, nowhere in here, no one in, in the activities, was there any indication that that was one of the conversations? That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Well, I think. So okay. just a that's couple. Thank yeah. you for telling me. So, so do October 12th, we'll have that one. Okay. Make it live here. Um, the I just gave you guys a longer meeting that day. Is it going to be a longer meeting? I'm well, so sorry. The sorry. question was the question was six thirty. Yeah. You guys, no. Yeah. I'm on vacation. That day. <laughs> but I can't be there. She I was just 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 all the way. Six thirty. Okay for the October twelfth. Yeah. 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 I can be here or on Zoom, whatever. Um, I gave you guys some field permits, just, you know, just because I could talk about fields. So yeah. I gave you the soccer permit for this year and the high school and the high school addendum, uh, amendment because they needed some Saturday games. Mm. And then the Bay group at uh, Beachwood, so, so you know what's going on. Um, fall program update. Um, you did do a brochure this year because uh, you just didn't do it. Um, I'd like to hopefully bring it back, but I gave you a copy of the one that we were using. This is actually not the one that's on the website because I realized I like the, the top, the front page on this one. The website one has a where you go to click on programs. But we try to, on this front page here, try to explain to people what's the difference between the rec center and the rec department. Uh, just so that you guys know, we did finally, Dr. Pompeo changed the name of the road between the red line and us when he moved into that building. And we were always 55 R South Main, which is actually the back of Hodge. It's a address that was given to us 30, you know, 25 years ago. So. We have officially adopted 25, which is actually what Google says. But if he's 20, we're 25. Um, so if anyone wants to know where the parking way was, that's our our, our rec center downtown. Um, oh. You know, and just going through this real quick, yoga is starting this week, uh, running club. Um, I love the title adult relaxation. Right? <laughs> yes, it caught that? my eye. It when caught my that? eye. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great title. With with our we we stole it. We got the boys' soccer tennis coach this summer to teach tennis, which was great because we had such a great summer last year with um, the tennis truck, the tennis guy we had last year. But then he got a the job at the country club. And he was going to do all these new things, and all things that he couldn't work. So we got the boys' coach. Um, very good summer. We made money. So I asked him to bring back the Sunday afternoon tennis. So he started this week. This very small group. We are doing, you know, we're juggling now. So the good news is one of my favorite programs is back, uh, CMI. That's on the next page after the kids and in, in instruments. Uh, CMI is the ERGS or downtown the rowing machine. Well, they're rowing down the harbor. Oh, here. But they, oh, here. So they're they're back after a three-year hiatus. You know, we for years, I was trying to get Jack Buckley to come indoors because they had this little shed half the size of this where the kids go eat in the mm. winter. And I said, you know, why don't you come indoors first for, uh, we had it strong for two years, 18 and 19 before COVID hit. And, you know, it's great to have a dozen or two dozen teenagers come down every day after school, ride the Ergs. And, um, you know, so we finally got it back. The Ergs are there. They started last week. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna do some adult stuff too pretty soon. They start off the kids first. Uh, like I said, the rise program started. We actually did. Um, we we've been running the volleyball program in the summer, and they asked us to do a fall program to build up interest for the middle school kids. So that is running now until the high school team. I think it's playing right now too. Did you do an email blast with all of this stuff? Like if it wasn't printed, we did. We did specific. Um, Different, yeah, we have to do 
this you know we were supposed to do it, we normally would have done that the day before, before Labor Day, but we just ran out of time. But we're doing it age specific for programs. Okay. So, uh, it's coming out through the school or from, from us. Own? Yeah. Like we did a tennis one, we had to do a running club one for Jay Hill. Uh, that's going well. Most of the things are filling up. Yeah. Maybe we're so used to it, like at the Labor Day, oh. just check on our site, it's our okay. mission. Okay. We got Linda Bolster. Linda Bolster's back downtown, um, nine to twelve. It's a program now. It's not like a drop in like we had before, so it's more legit. Um, it's a little slow. I mean, so it's four weeks long. So, they, you know, it, Mondays are great, Fridays are great. I did. She has offered to get licensed to go back to her old because she liked her old routine of having kids come and go. And the parents are, I guess. Don't like the signing up for a month. Um, so I did talk to her about maybe either she could do that, we can look at becoming licensed, or just doing the mummy me, which such what it does. I mean, she can't go back to the old way. That that's not that's not a program. So um, the old way is just random kids get dropped off yeah, random days yeah. and do random stuff. And that, yeah, I did drop my twins off for that. Yeah, and that's many just, years ago. And it's, it's crazy. That was, oh my god. <laughs> But well, the parent screamed and cried, and she called me. You have to come pick up your kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't seem like a program. It was more like a drop in. It was. Just, I mean, I'll watch your children for you if you want to go. Yes, and it was always. I mean, it was one of our best programs. Made a lot of money, but yeah. it wasn't. Like, and we were getting complaints from outside. Oh, from license daycare, so we were running the legal daycare. Oh, uh, you no know, COVID yet. So we were always looking at. Uh, so we told her she'd be a program. So this this routine of going out at twelve for four weeks on Monday and then move four weeks. It, it's Monday and Fridays are okay, but I she didn't have anybody these three days. So I talked to her yesterday. I said, "No, look at Mummy and Me because that's what Citra does. Those programs are legit. Um, look at a one hour program on Tuesday, a specific one hour. Yeah, um, you can do that. Uh, or like if she wants to get licensed, we can look at that. She has to have to back her up." Right now, she's like a 16 kids, which is fine. So, yeah, and also, I like having her there because her income helps pay for the rec center. Mm. You know, because we do pay all the utilities at downtown, and we had the ex down there and, and her down there. We we're making money to for staff during the office and also paying all the utilities. Uh, the rec center has opened again uh, after school, so Ryan's got some new programming in there. Uh, we're also, we also are taking over ground level. So the ground level Friday nights once a month is, is recreation, uh, recreation stuff. First one's next Friday night. Can we get enough uh, staff for those even if it's through the middle school? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And actually, we're hosting the ninth graders next Friday. They're doing a clean sweep down the beach, and then they're coming to us for lunch. I'm at home into our rec center, um, and just and then they're going off because that day they get back to the buses. So we're doing that. Starts in sixth grade, though, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, we all the community page is, is pretty similar to last year. Uh, we did just find out that Open Studios is not they usually use us in the, in the fall and spring. The artists are they don't have enough artists in there upstairs, so uh, I like having them there because I thought it'd be cool. Plus, it also tied in with the uh, we're doing that clothing exchange with one four three. So it's going to be the same weekend. So I thought it was pretty cool. We've been very busy with artists and exchange. They're doing the kids one next weekend. Um, I got the PSL reached out to me. They lost their space at the Osgood to store, store supplies. So they asked if they could store their supplies with us and have pop ups. And I said, sure. You know, just because the PSL has always been good to us. And um, they just have to find a new. I might give one of our storage units because. We used up so much of our clothing, we could probably give her one of our units. And I even told him, I said, if someone comes in looking for a sweatshirt, Jen and I can go over there and get a schedule. And that means they're open 21st, they're open more than both shops in town are. Yeah, they can uh, make more money. More yeah. money for them. yeah, so, um, you know, town meeting, child, town meeting is December 12th. We'll open to the child care for that. Uh, the dance program is, is doing great. Uh, they're condensing the schedule as we speak. Just from, they, they, you know, obviously they try to fill our location from four to nine every night in downtown, from six to nine every night. So they're looking at the schedule now, combining classes that aren't doing as well. Uh, 
And then the last page is sort of our typical last page, the road race. We put the right program much up there, the center extreme registration. How fair, hopefully we pull off. And I did today, I sent in the application for the road race. I've already done, you know, the race officials are all set. So this is sort of the preliminary schedule. We just have to, I fill an application with the town and to prove it. But it's usually a no brainer. So the, uh, you know, no changes from last year. I just, I got to look at my notes and make sure I did the same thing that we were going to make a little line of changes. Um, but the race is on. So it's good we're going to use the indoors for, Last year we tried to stay outside as much as possible, but uh, it'd be nice to use the cafeteria if it's uh, uh, touring, if we could, especially if it's a cold day. And nobody wants to be outside. Okay. And like I said, okay, we'll reach out to um, I'll sit down with Ron Ford and try to figure out the wording for the Holly, and we'll do a little spot there for a donation to a scholarship and everything. Yeah. I was thinking about doing it for the, the top high school runner, best runner, who finishes right the first. I just got to figure out that whole college eligibility thing. You know, you know, giving them money for a race might be enough as the. I know college will be changing now, so. Uh, oh, yeah, they're changing. You think they're allowed? To yeah. So, money now? I don't know. So I have to look into that. Uh, but that was our first thought. It's the first Cohasset track with cross country kid that finishes. We'll get, we'll get that award. Boy or girl. Well, they're not yet a student at a college. Right, they would be yeah. here so they could take them. Oh, but not for the but then it'd be, but then we have to figure out if it's a senior because it's about senior night, or there's a lot of things we have to figure out. I'll run it by you guys to see. I'll talk to Ron Ford first, get, get thoughts, and then run it by you guys to see what you think. All you do is if it's a senior, you get it. criteria is uh, excellence in running. So you would qualify to get the scholarship if you're a junior. It's an excellent summer running, so if you're a senior, it's on summer running. Yeah, we want to figure out. I mean, what happens if a sophomore wins? So we wait, we get to them, we just stop so the because the seniors and juniors are not allowed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just thought something to think about. Yeah, uh, this is so impressive. I am impressed with all of the programs and everything that goes on. This is really amazing. It's like we're seeing it all. Remember how we did like Jeff Rowe and all that stuff? So many learning. Um, two minutes. Um, I put the. Um, the might be a little too. Uh, I gave you guys the official uh, <laughs> the notice about town meeting, which includes a date for the um, submission of the petitions, so we know what's going on. Uh, and I did, you know, Julie and I were talking about this whole seat, you know, sidewalks and everything like that. So we got the letter, you know, but I think it should be approved by the board. Since you do mention the recreation commission, so I do. Um, but if you, but I was thinking, if you'd like me to not mention the rec recreation commission, I don't have to. The reason I did was because Senator O'Connor sent me that letter, right? With me all about that letter after. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys get a letter? I saved, I saved it. it in my folder too, and it says "Congratulations, Julie," right, written in marker. And in the letter, he says, "I basically, I'd like to help you okay. make yeah. changes. How can I help you improve the quality of life in your community?" So I thought, here's a perfect opportunity for us to actually make good on that offer. And there's a terrible intersection, very dangerous intersection, very close to the middle of high school. It's on King Street. We have so many kids on our side of town, right? I see you visit the beach area. I do. On uh, our side of town. Yes. That don't have access to the safe routes into town or to the schools back and forth. And for the town also to have a safe way to get to Whitney Fair or Wampatec or Lily Pond or any of the other recreational things that we have available to us in our part of town. Um, so I thought this might be a nice opportunity to ask you to help with that. And I think, you know, because it's a state highway, mm -hmm. it's crossing it, it's a good idea to call it. Yeah, so uh, I think Chris Senior said the same thing. Well, he's the one who told me. So I brought it up to Chris Senior because I thought, well, maybe this is something he would be involved in. 
And right away, he said, I support you. I agree with you, but you have to go to um, machine, machine? Joe Machino yeah. yes. or um, Senator O'Connor. And since I had a letter from him, I thought, hey, uh -huh. I'll go there. So I called his office the other day to um, ask a question, left a voicemail, and his chief of staff called me today to make sure that uh, the questions were answered. And I said, I'm going to send you an email. It's a great account. Yeah, he was very polite, really on the ball. I was actually really impressed with their responsiveness. I think this ties in with that petition where we, where we say a one mile radius around this, these schools, and high school, middle school, safe use of school. Because there is funding from safe use of school that we could apply for and try to do something with that. Race, all these kids racing down the hill and fixing this light. Because yeah. you got to fix that light to fix it, help us. And then, but also, when I, I can't leave our office between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Actually, 3.30 4 o'clock because yeah. it's too many cars going out the hill. I can't get out because it's only eight seconds. So it's crazy. It's, it's, it's okay crazy. if everybody takes a right, but nobody, everyone wants to go straight. Every other car has to do straight or left. And one car doesn't pay attention. Miss the light and it's been there forever. So, yeah. Um, so, um, so, yeah, I, I, you guys see anything that I wanted you guys to. Yeah, is there anything in here that you'd like me to scratch out? Any wording you'd like me to change? I could take off the recognition card. Um, I thought it'd be best that it just comes from one individual, but if you wanted to, but if everyone would like, is interested in it being from a whole recognition, that's great too. I just didn't want to uh, impose that on you. Well, you something that you may not it. be interested in. I mean, if you don't, if you all agree with it, then you should say on behalf of the recognition. That's oh, not yeah. all easy stuff. You know, oh, as, long as, as long as, as long oh, as, that makes it so, yeah. so much fun. The only thing I, you know, on second paragraph, you say committee. So yeah. you should switch up to Change commission. commission. Yeah. Okay. But it's good. It's up to you guys. I, mean, well, I don't know. I, I will not be offended. Yeah. You got I located. Think, I think it's thoughtful. I think it's a nice big personal. Let's say we want to take a vote to support it. Yep. So, okay, so uh, is there yes. a motion to support um, uh, the Recreation Commission's uh, involvement and um, uh, mayor on Lee Rose's letter to um, Senator Patrick O'Connor? So moved. So second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So you could, you could add to this now that yeah. the board voted. Unanimously yeah. um, to support this. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, on the 14th, the board we go to uh, the, the commission to pass the motion that we uh, present this letter to the speaker. Right. Okay. Um, should I take out the personal, my personal, like, romantic benefit? Oh, yeah. Just that okay? Saying, Even though know, so it's from. Speaking for myself. Yeah. Okay. Say that. Okay. That's a, that's something you can speak to or speak to anyone else. You're writing the letter. Perfect. So last thing I have is uh, thank you. So nice. the rec center trying to get more kids there. You know my jukebox that I inherited from Hingham Rec that I bought from Hingham Rec for four thousand dollars in nineteen ninety eight. Hingham gave to me for fifty bucks CD jukebox, but too many kids are pressing the, the buttons and putting all the CDs and. I can't find a row, old school row uh, jukebox. So I, um, I was watching Bar and Fossil one night, and he was talking about this Touch Tunes jukebox that had karaoke, selfie spots. Uh, and I reached out to them and told them about a rec center. And I said, obviously, I don't want the kids using credit cards on their cell phones to play music. And they said, well, no, we have a version that is you know, it's free. Mm -hmm. um, so the girl actually, she when I told her about our rec center, she actually I didn't tell her how well off this community was, but she cried and she's like she went to her bosses and talked about how great it was, uh, and they're, they're trying for it. So there was a wouldn't it be good if these underprivileged kids had music to dance <laughs> I mean, to? Can we make that happen for them? But I know we can do it. Yeah. So I mentioned the ground level and you know those kids and so, but then it was like it was, it was, it was one ninety nine a month. You know, for three years, and then I said, well, what, "What can we do if we, you know, I need to ask, I need to find seven thousand dollars for that, oh, yeah. or 
Well, yeah. they know they put one place for that. Well, they're, 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 they're so what happened was you said shed to go in first. That's so, our mission. We need a shed. So what I reached out to, I don't know if you guys any of you guys know about PJ Trender What's fun? So PJ was a classic kid. I think it was 2002. He, you know, his family, Harbor Marine, I think it's lobster. I mean, they're been the Trenderwitz has been long time sponsors of us. Um, he was under the bridge by the Sandy Beach and he drowned. I don't think the cord cut around his neck. He's not in need. He's in need. He's on a board. Yeah, he's yeah. cold. Yeah, he's cold. He's cold. He's cold. He was not. He was surfing the rapids. Oh, was it? Yeah. He should have been doing it. He was BC oh, B- 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 BC High, I don't know if he graduated or he's on out probably from college or if it's uh, in between. No, he was in between his senior and freshman year. Yeah. Okay. So he um he would have been a pro. Yeah. So they that whole crew, you know, they have a huge they, for 20 years they've been doing a golf tournament, make a lot of money, make a lot of donations. I never asked them for money ever. And um Greg Smith is one of my campers from 1985, 86, <laughs> five-year-old, the toughest kid we ever had at camp. To play dodgeball against kids twice his age and be the best one of all. He, he's actually the president. He was best friends with PJ. So I reached out. If you, in this first thing, I sort of, if you go halfway down the page, I reached out to him on June 17th and just talked about the vaccine and talked about Jack. Um, you know, the family, you know, that whole, that whole group of kids were rec center kids, were rec department kids. You know, PJ, all, when I look at the list of board directors, they're all, for campers and I. You know, and they graduated with their high school, middle school, high school in the 90s. Uh, so I really laid on about how important that building is and trying to get more kids involved. So, uh, can you respond? The first part. If you read, well, you, uh, Jim, the we responded 12 yeah. days later. I was getting a little nervous. You know, I thought maybe it was the wrong email address. Um, but, that's so great. As you can see there, you know, just it's a mission. I mean, that's, like I look at the list of money they're given to, and I was like, yeah, there's not too much capacity here, but they've done, I think, say, they haven't done a lot of donating in town. So uh, so I wrote it, you know, here immediately, then the next page is, uh, skip the page here, but we did, um, is it, they took a vote immediately, $7,000 is yours. Oh, so I am, one of the things I did ask this group, uh, questions was, Three years, some of asking someone for seven thousand dollars for three years is you know it could be gone in three years. And I said, What can what can you give me for five years? And they, it was like you know, three thousand dollars. So I'm reaching out to the social service lady for the other three, and that'll give us five years of this two bucks. It was installed, it, we, we got it. They're, they're gonna they're gonna pay the first three years immediately oh. once we get the bill, they got the three years to cover it. Um, so the bill when it comes in after 30 days, which is coming up probably this week. We send right to the Greg and they're going to pay for it. So, if you guys, I mean, some of you guys might know that, I mean, these are ones that have a parse. Um, there's an app for it. I actually left you guys all the directions. Uh, we can we can actually block <laughs> You're it. Going to be going like, you, you can go on the app and you can see the quest of Rex on it, but it, it doesn't let people like us just zoom it, do it from, from our from here. But the kids have free music. You know, they, you know, they can have the app. No charge. Uh, it's actually, uh, I, I got some rules. I mean, they're getting 50 credits a day. So a kid could actually literally sit there all day, punch of 50, 50 songs. We got to figure that one out. I mean, we're not going to take over, over yeah. what we're doing. And I can't go in there and punch it with Houston for three hours. And, and <laughs> Is that what you would choose? Yes, yeah, that would be my choice. With that, with that barbed wire fence around it. <laughs> so, oh, no, it's, 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 it's a beautiful machine. <laughs> Right now, the custodians are using it the most because they go in there for lunch and they I watch know, and they and it's a built in radio, uh, sta- uh, radio like music stations, too, that can always be playing in the background. Oh, yeah. I mean, of- you can do it for everything. You like Linda Bolsher, they actually programmed 500 Disney songs in there oh. for Linda Bolsher to play, you know, when the kids are there. Um, there was a nice little note from Greg that was buried in there by mistake that um, we think it's a perfect way to remember PJ's work quest and recognition at the same time. So um, they will actually be able to put an image of him on it. You know, and, and donation from PJ Turner was fun, so that was pretty cool too. Very cool. Uh, and just like I said, they could plug in the, the here, they, they, they drop the karaoke piece, but kids can plug in a microphone and sing along. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so so fun. It, it, it'd be great for ground level when yeah. kids don't have the music and they don't have to play off their own phones. Yeah. They just plug right in the music and sing along. Uh, 
So I left you all the details about it. It's there now. Um, so cool. Unfortunately, when we I put the request in to support delivery, they a week later they did the firewall installation just out and everything's been haywire since and they haven't activated the internet jack where it's plugged in right now. So we have a 30 day window and I reached out to IT to say, listen, we have nine more days. So hopefully they'll get on it. They just were getting school started at the same time. So it's sort of messing up a little bit. I'm hoping if they don't do it for Friday, I'm going to go over their heads a little bit. If I talk to Chris, say, listen, we, we have eight more days before this week, this thing becomes a paid device where the kids are happy to use their own. But I, I'm sure it's going to get done. All they have to do is remotely activate where the flight things plug in. So simple fix. Yeah. So, um, so I'm real happy about that. Yeah, I'm really, you know, it's a great yeah. connection. I'm glad Greg was still, like I said, he was one of our, our favorite campers of the 1980s. Uh, and all those friends on the board are all former rec kids. So it's pretty cool that that's why they gave us the money too. So, um, well done getting that done. And then on the field subject, uh, so we host on Tuesday and Thursdays at Beachwood through the summer, we host the Special Olympics. Um, Team that's a combination of such a class of kids and they won the gold medal uh, oh, awesome this year. So they sent me a picture. They are going to send Taffy off there that's going to send me a, a description about it. Awesome. So we'll, we'll get this publicized. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but you know, you know, this is, you know, Babe Ruth always wants to feel two shape, fair shape, but um, this is their field. Tell me something about, um, so let's go back and look at some of the Mariners. You used to provide a uh, rec like corner, like a, a little uh, snippet. Is that like too much of a, an effort? I know there's no glass of air, but there's a post Will you consider putting it in? I can ask. It's like it's a mini version of this. I, I actually, I, 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 just, on, I, just, let, I just let our glass of air, coastal merit expire because it's garbage. It's, too it's pretty garbage. It's, but but there is, there is, the, but they will, yeah, but you know, I, I'm keeping it for the uh, high school sports. I know, but it's so it's like the mitt, the classic old mirror. So now it's called Owns oh, no. It's, it's a, a, it's not a enough. smaller oh, version. No. Of I got an enough. email the other day saying that we're going to get the Classic Mariner going up again. Would you oh. like to be involved? Oh, I and I thought, do. okay. I so they that. call it the Mariner. Who's involved? I, I don't who? know. It's the wicked local people. Uh, no, they're sucking you in. They want you to buy the Coastal Mariner. I bet you that's what it <laughs> is. Yeah. The coastal like, Mariner. Well, you live in glass. I don't think you like this Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I left that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to subscribe to it. I love getting them involved. Bring back, back, the, bring back, back the classic Mirror. There used to be two newspapers in town. Classic oh, Mirror really? was the other one. The Mirror. Mirror. No, no, mirror. Was time, but I remember, was that I remember the hearing it. They were all competing with each other. Then the Tiny Town Gazette. Oh, the Tiny Town Gazette. The Mill of Only. Um, so real quick, <laughs> committee reports. Oh yeah, yeah, John, do you get anything on that open space? Have these guys met at all? We did not meet all summer. We are meeting next week. The only thing I can share is that they are sponsoring a cohesive virtual cleanup day, uh, which goes with the national uh, cleanup day, which is September 17th of the week. Is this really a virtual cleanup day? Is? It just means that it's like- Clean up anywhere? <laughs> I think it's, just, it's, it's a little more, less formal. You know what I mean? I think they are going oh, to get the mass. They are going to get the dumpster, and they're going to like kind of do all that stuff. But it'll be a little like less structured than the rest of the years. Okay. What was the date? Uh, September seventh. Um, so on Saturday, take a picture of yourself cleaning a cohesive or some Facebook or Instagram with a little bit cohesive. In my living room, like this. Listen, open no, space is trying. Open space. Good <laughs> call. So There's that is. Uh, <laughs> That's all that's on the uh, okay. on the on the uh, topic for now. Um, but hopefully more after the meeting next week. Next week. Hey, Jeff in the harbor. I think Jeff has left us hanging. Oh, yeah, he has. Um, how about Safe Harbor? Let's get with the harbor. Let's start with Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor is up and running again. I believe today was the first day they had the youth ambassadors awesome. going again. And um, how many Saturday, is that? Is that still like massively strong? Like it's, it's like really 30 something kids. Yeah. Nice. Through COVID, that they were really not very connected to each other. It was yeah. great. It was great. Um, on the 18th at the library, they have a teen mindfulness class that they're starting at three o'clock from three to four thirty. And then the first open meeting of the year is October 4th. 
from 11 to 12.30. And anyone who has never attended one of those meetings, it is a very informative meeting with everybody in town coming together. What's um, the time? 11 to 12.30 on October 4th. And that's in the community room. So right off um, like by the superintendent's office. You know, they have clergy, school personnel, police, um, parents. It's going to be an admin building, the administrative uh, uh, high school. Room. But the room. building is called the administrative building, or is okay. it high school? You see, there's a wing at the high school. High school. Yeah, okay. they, have, they have their offices that they should make those downstairs. I've never been in there. Oh, you yeah, should have like a mystery. Yeah. You should go to the Yeah, you should. Okay. And then on like October 18th, from one to two in the library meeting room is a parent coffee. That with, is, with Linda. That, that was what I was going to say, which is now hosted by Linda Nathan. Oh, cool. So it's just, it's an opportunity for parents to come with all sorts of, like anything that they have going on with their kiddos. Mm -hmm. they, like mental health issues, substance abuse issues. You got it. Anything, anything else? Like anything any other topic? And all this stuff, all your a summary of all this stuff, that, that comes out in um, Sullivan's uh, newsletter every week. Is that still like a part of it at the end? It probably does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I forgot these days. I'm just going to scroll through. Yeah. Are you not on there? Uh, See, Barbara, I am not on the mailing list now. On the emailing list? But yeah. I'm, on the, I'm actually on the mail mailing list. The mail oh, mailing list. Okay. <laughs> we can get you That'll onto work. the email list. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> Because sometimes those newsletters are really uh, long, long, you know? And I know they, they save space at the end for safe like, what? Yeah, there is, there is a very strong partnership. Volleyball, come on. I think one thing that you're talking to Linda about is, you know what's up with vandalism? In the town of Glasgow? Oh, yeah, the kids, the kids are, I think it's just an anger thing. So it's a part of COVID, just uh, end up, hopefully they'll get over. It, it happens every, it's cyclical, I'll take a little bit. It's usually, you know, but this this is you know you start the I think there's the summer there's a lot more vandalism with, you know mm -hmm. that we're watching for kind of like a pet being yeah. you know yeah. so I think it's it might be just that subsection of this after COVID yeah. aggression. Yeah. Uh, Are they teenagers? I, I'm like assuming it. I assume it is, yeah. yeah. Just seem to be basketball really nice. stepping <laughs> change over. You know, <laughs> Who's vandalizing? Let's go. I to Linda. Yeah. At least it's an aggression thing. I mean, we, we saw it last year with the kids just punching their friends because <gasps> there's, you know, they were mad that camp was over. They just sort of hit, hit, hit their best friend in the head. Oh. Yeah. We didn't see that much, so they're now taking it on other things. <laughs> this is a little bit more targeted. I'm yep. guessing the school has contact with the police about what has gone on. I could, I could talk to them. Yeah, I just couldn't. I see it. Isn't there a camera? Yeah, we need cameras at our place. Oh, the rack yeah. by the yeah. key yeah. It's such a good camera. Yeah. 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 That's what we're doing. Stick your tongue out. They're not being nice running basketball court. They're not being nice running basketball court. I think the vomiting list really. I don't really panic. <laughs> I was just a kid. Oh, well, the knocking bench is over. Yeah, kid, we don't know what, in, in what context it happened. I doubt it was playing a game, but that kid had some kind of acid in his stomach. Oh, no. Just destroyed the paint job. Oh, no. Yeah. Unfixable. <gasps> so, a kid might be an alien. We could have found <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's animals who did it. Uh, it's definitely food and definitely alcohol. human. Yeah, so, uh, some human involvement. Human involvement. Yeah. Too bad. Three days before the pay chop. Oh dear. That's a chalk police to kindergarten. It's still chalk out of hands, keeping the chalk off the court. Yeah. Chalk. Yeah. That's a chalk. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain eventually. Okay. Right. So let's you know, see. our next meeting is October 12th. We talked about it. The agenda 6.30 p.m. It's going to enjoy the, uh, the, the agenda is going to include um, a lengthy conversation about the field study. Mm. And we'll see where that leads us. Well, I think I forgot to mention was I, I had this, I couldn't stay put on because I did have the fact that this is our, especially our new members, this is our road race history. Um, weather and 
how much we made, how many products we had. Wow. Uh, all in one spreadsheet? Yeah, I'm running out of space. It's almost you know, amazing. But um, so that gives you an idea. You know, so we split the funds with the charity fund. Um, so the proceeds that gives you tells you how much we've given you know them since 2009, 42,000, 40, you know, how much money's come in all together is over two hundred thousand. Uh, and we had over seventy five hundred runners. So I, I like using this as a gauge on even weather. We can tell. Yeah, you know, we do this over and over again. The weather, we can see what kind of weather we'll get. Um, the chips is when we start using the um, timer. That's when we start. We raise the fee a little bit when we start getting the chip on the, the bibs. And right, 2017, cool. we didn't have a bridge across. So we went a different right. route. Um, yeah. But um, now we're ready for next this year. We got the flags ready to go. We got everything. Um, Wow. You know, just sponsors. So if we get, you know, we'll start working on that letter for sponsors, but that's always, the goal is to always have the sponsors cover the cost of the t-shirts. And then the runners are the profit. Um, I don't know if volleyball wants to do, I mean, it was great to have all those kids for volleyball, but did you give them a thousand or 2000? <laughs> but if they want to do it again, a thousand is okay with me, but. Uh, what did they do? Volunteers. We always need more volunteers. Yeah, I was going to ask uh, about that. I'm yep. so sorry. Does this group volunteer for yep. any active yep. things that go on? They volunteer or like they run? Customarily. Oh my. Had a great photo. What about walking? Year. One year I walked. Is walking still an option? Yeah, as long as you walk fast. No, or I'm thinking uh, of like some walk. other race. You're thinking of like classic race. That's what I'm thinking of. I walked that one. Had that great photo of you, you, you two and Bob. Yeah. The that's right. That's got to be on the poster year. this year. Oh, that's yes. great. Three, three, three yeah. of the commission has finished. Oh, I love it. I finished, I think, finished. Like, we didn't win. So it was more like, what, like three, four, five, I think we finished. Do you win? <laughs> <guess. laughs> <Would you remember? laughs> I could run really nice and good chase. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we need the walk was canceled. We have, we yeah, we need, oh we yeah, and everyone here. bailed on me, and I was like, "If my principal, I'm going to represent you all." Yes. And right? It was like you took twelve steps backwards when you got on <gasps> Jerusalem. Like, oh no! The wind. It was like like fighting. You remember they canceled the, the walk because like, it snowed. Oh, gosh. April, whatever. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. it's still oh. the day before. It was remember, so windy. I was like, that, oh, like that morning, and like the snow melted because like the sun came out, but the wind kicked in. Oh yeah, so we weren't running in snow, but it yeah, was like there were still puddles. Yeah, and it, was like howling. it was crazy, that and I was like that was my first and last, but of course I went back to work. So you're looking for volunteers for this, and sponsors, volunteers, everything. Yeah, get your name in the back of the shirt. Oh, yes. All right, so I see there being no business before the commission. Is there a motion to adjourn? Before we adjourn, oh. just so you know, the 12th I'll bring pizza. <laughs> oh, there we go. 12th, Bristol. Wow, because we're going to have dinner time. 6 30. <laughs> we all near miss, nearly missed this meeting. <laughs> The phone didn't go off. Everything <laughs> in your phone for that. Oh, go hatch my way. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Great. He's going to move it. Um, so move. move. Oh, move. yes. Second. Second. All in favor, say. I believe it. All in favor, say.